my name is Danielle Free, and I've just been around this stuff all my life. Everybody knows me as TC. I build street rods, hot rods, have for years. Together, we pull our projects from the weeds, find them in chicken houses and junkyards with a purpose to rebuild and revive treasures people have thrown out as trash and forgotten. Creativity meets ingenuity. Scavenger hunt meets build show. This is Full Metal Rehab. I've always built my own hot rods because I couldn't afford to have them built, so I had to do it myself. So, uh, And you learn. You learn when you have to do it yourself. So, And can't afford to buy the stuff, so I just picked up on it. Growing up, my dad totally wanted a boy and got stuck with girls, so I became dad's son for the most part, which meant weekends at swap meets and scrap yards and junkyards and we spent our weekends there every weekend. That was our father-daughter bonding time. So Full Model Rehab, this is going to be our first project. It's our 1960 Chevy Apache and we got it from our great friend Danny who generously donated it to us so I can have a parts truck. All we got here. All right. Project. Major project, it looks like. <laughs> Chevy, patchy, rotten truck. All right. Danielle. What you think, old man? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> I swung by Danny's and picked up our Apache. It's a fine one. Are you sure? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> you're going you're to help me fix it so oh. I have a parts truck for the shop. All right. A parts truck. Are you truck. up for it? Well, we got plenty to do on it, it looks like. Not too much. Okay. She's a baby doll. So what is this thing? It's a 1960 Chevy Apache. 1960 Chevy Apache. <laughs> All right. What are we going to do with this thing, though? We're going to make a hot rod out of it, a rat rod. I mean, what are we going to do? Keep a mix between the two, as long as she's fast. But I want her to look a little rough around the edges still. Well, we can do that for sure. Might have to get you inside of it, and uh, we'll have to pump this tire up, and we'll see if we can't get it off the trailer. Well, I'm just going to wait on you. I already did all the hard work before. <laughs> I loaded it while you sat here Yeah, anymore. that's true. All right, well, get your butt up in there, and we'll uh, see if we can't get it off the trailer. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, damn. Really? <laughs> At least I got a crate. Uh, it might be too tall for you, too. Project one. Daniel needs a seat. Come Give on, old push. man, push. Let's get it off, huh? All right. Something's going to happen, maybe. I don't know what. But That's what I said. Can get it off. It's going to be a lot of work, but it'll be good work. There you go. <laughs> Just like we planned. I love the Apache truck. I mean, people think she's ugly, and, but she's unique, and I like unique. The lines on it are different. The whole truck is different in its own. There's not a bunch of them on the road, so we're gonna stand out. I love it. She's home, Buster Brown. <sighs> I think it's just, uh, it's a very unique truck. It looks, you know, the cab, the configuration of the doors, the, the roof line, it's just, uh, it's different. I think we can really make a neat, neat rat rod out of it. And um, the suspension with it under there, that's gonna be a real good handling driving truck. That's usually me, you always in a good mood. got it in the shop. We're going to have to see what we're going to do with this thing. What are we going to do with this thing, Danielle? Um, we're <laughs> going to make it beautiful. Well, we, no, no, we're not going to do that. I think we just need to sand it out a little bit and throw some clear on it. Some satin clear on it? Yeah. We have a blank <laughs> spare canvas yeah. so I can put a monster in there. All right, so we got to come up with a motor and a transmission. Mm -hmm. Six lug wheels, that's not going to cut it, so we'll have to change spindles and go with some five lug 
15, 17, something like that. Not a bad rear end suspension wise. Now, yeah, we'll get rid of that rear end housing and mm -hmm. we'll put in a, you know, nine inch four or something like that. A little bit of work, we'll get it going. Or maybe a lot of work. <laughs> we'll still get it going. Uh, <laughs> Let's get our tour apart and see where we're at. All right, great. We'll get the hood off first. I'll spray these. And then I will work I'll on spraying down can, everything else. Pass the can over to you. Yeah, we use about a case of, <laughs> a case of penetrating oil per vehicle because everything's got, they're all bolted together and they've been sitting there since the day they were built and they're all rusted up. You gonna be able to help me with this? I don't know, I didn't nearly eat my Wheaties this morning. Well, we might have to get the big chick in here on this one. We might have to call in the big chick. Hey, Chick! You got to come help me uh, get a hood off, man. Hey, I'm Chick uh, with Chick's Customs. Um, known TC for 20 years. We help each other out now and then. He calls me up and has me look at something. I do the same for him. And uh, we just have a, a good rapport together. Been best friends for years. Check. Yeah, you got a lot more to go. <laughs> Where did you find this more. thing? Uh, this is like one it. of Danielle's. She come up with this one. So it's a nice. <laughs> She's gonna be pretty. <laughs> I, I actually didn't even know they had a torsion bar back in '60 on a Chevrolet, but it's definitely factory stuff. You're learning new that, things. Look at that. Yeah. So so that's a plus. And they use like a. I don't know, a street sign or something for the battery tray, but it's right. still there, so we might even leave that too. I think we should leave it at that. Yeah, we'll work with it. It gives it some character. <laughs> In here, you think you can get on the other side? Let's. Uh, I can't go. Uh, little chick's the broken. Little, little chick's broken. All right, chick, we gotta have some hand over here getting this thing off. Again. Again. Sorry. That little chick over there can't can't get it. She's broke right now. I think we got it loose. I'm not sure, but I think it's all loose. All right, there you go. See, look at you boys making that look easy. All right. Compare this to anything else like Ford or, Chevy, or Ford or Dodge or anything back in the same years, they had straight axles on them. Yep, it's ahead of its time. <laughs> so I mean, this was way ahead of its time. And with a trailing arm rear end, I mean, this thing's... Yeah. My project's getting better at that. Have you got us all unbolted back here so we can lift this bed up? Get Are it you out really of here? asking? You asked me to do it. I got it done. Come all on right. now. Good. I don't slack. I got it ready for you guys. Well, we got to lift this thing up and get it out the door. Let's see if we just. I don't like know. Air we'll traffic see. control. That's how you're going to get this <laughs> off. Well, I mean, the cab is pretty heavy by itself, and then you got doors, steering columns, so yeah, it's pretty heavy, so we'll have to use uh, our overhead. We'll have to have help here, so Your we'll overhead? use our overhead crane and a uh, homemade <laughs> crane. Nice. And that'll pick it right up, and we'll get it off of here. I think you need to go get your uh, douching clothes on, and douching we got to give this chassis a good cleaning. I get special clothes for douching. Yeah. All right. All right, get it I out got wheel. Here. Outside. Limbo. Get lower now. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing real good. I was just waiting on you. Keep going. You're doing great, girl. We'll get it out here so we can clean her up. The turn box is tight. You know? I like that. So. You like a tight box? I like a tight box, so that's that's good and tight. So Every dog has a day. It might be a piece of shit now, but we're going to fix it. We ain't lying. I'm faking that. That's the truth. Hey, what you think? Well, we got a pretty clean chassis here. It's because I did it. Yeah, a little rust, but that's, uh, you know, that's what we've got. We don't see any major problems, right? She's no, good? no, the chassis in, for for this year truck and what it was, the chassis, I, I like the chassis, it's nice. It's, you know, basically bone stock suspension here. 
um, and everything needs to be rebuilt. But I think once we rebuild, you know, control arm bushings, drag links, all that, it's going to be great. Even the, the steering box is tight. You know, I like that. So You like a tight box? I like a tight box. So okay. that's, that's good and tight. So even if we decide to use that, I think we'll be okay <laughs> there too. So yes, I like it. Good job, JC. Well, you start with the front end because that is definitely the most important part of the whole chassis. Uh, that controls everything. The rear end is just follow the front end. So if you get the front end right, um, as a hot rod anyway, so that's the most important thing to get the front end right. I always start with the front stuff and, and work your way up, do the body later. Uh, but the chassis, the main thing, because that's your foundation for a hot rod. Uh, you get the chassis right, then you've got a good hot rod. You know, no matter what the body looks like or what kind of body you run, as long as you, you got a real good chassis, that's the main thing. So while TC is back there actually working and doing something today, I'm going to go up in the office and take my parts list, make some phone calls to some people that I know, and see what parts I can round up at a good price so we keep our money distribution even and going as cheap as possible. Yeah. Good girl. All right, so I got us some drop spindles coming in. They will actually be in tomorrow. All right. Somebody had them in stock, which I was pretty stoked about. And then I got a whole front suspension kit coming on the way, and it should take a few days on that. Very good, very good. Well, that's exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. That'll get us going. We'll go over there and look at the cab and see what we need on the cab. Hey, Danielle, come look. Let's Check this cab out and see what we have, see what we don't have, see how rotten it is, uh, what we got to replace. What do you think? <laughs> Doesn't look too good I for us, she... does it? <laughs> what we got to do here, we got to try to get this cab structurally strong again, okay? Because okay? you can see the floors are rotten, the rockers look rotten. We hadn't even looked up underneath it yet. When you hit, when you hit a vehicle and see stuff fall out from underneath it, you know, uh, that's a pretty good sign of it being a little rusty, and it is. A little. When you can take, when you can take and do that to metal, it's shot. It's shot in the ass. Uh, the floor really doesn't mean that much. So, so we'll my just feet, see my how. My feet falling through is not a safety issue. <laughs> no, you're not going to fall through. We'll keep you from falling through. Right now, we're not going to worry about the floor. I've got a motor. A buddy of mine's got a motor. Tim's got a motor. We've got to go up there and get the motor and transmission. We've got a um, this. It's going to be an automatic. See, this was a standard shift. It had a three-speed yeah. on the tree, on the column. Yeah. But it does have a pretty good hump in the floor, so we might not have to do anything to that. It might even clear the automatic transmission, which will be great if it does. So once we get the motor, we'll figure that part out too. So, so I'm in charge of cleaning out the cab and ordering parts, and, and ordering you're going to go for pick up the motor. Rotten, okay. rotten cab. And I think that'll give us a good plan, and we'll have plenty to do at that point. <laughs> Okay, foul on me. This thing is a little bit rustier than TC probably would have wanted it to be. However, every dog has its day. She might be a piece of shit now, but we're going to fix it. I'm going to spend my money where it's a safety issue. And if this thing falls apart going down the road, it's not so safe. Yeah, we had to do some, a lot of duty on that truck. So you try and sell us off the Tim, I'm here to pick up this motor, man. Hey, man, how you doing? Looks like you got it out. Yeah, here's this motor that you called on. You were All looking right. for a motor for your Apache that you're building. Hello, my name is Tim Strange from Strange Motion Rod and Custom. I run a hot rod shop up here, and I've got some parts that TC needs for his truck project that come out of a truck that we're putting an LS swap in. So I'm going to trade him this 350, 
and he doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to get a little labor trade for him. And this is why some people think us hot rodders are hoarders. No, nope. we keep all these parts because either we are going to need it someday for a project or somebody we might know, and then it'll go to good use. 350 came out of another C10, the next generation that uh, we had we're not going to use. We're putting an LS swap in it. So uh, the dirt for... is free. <laughs> well, it kind of matches what we what it's going to go into. Believe me, it really does. That'll be it, it'll just work perfect. Uh, it's, it's 350 tranny too? Yep. All right. Yeah, that's going to work good. And now you want to know what I want for it? We well, didn't discuss that until you drove all the oh way up no. here. You actually want something for it. So <laughs> since you're building something on the cheap and kind of doing the old school barter yeah, system, yeah. You take this, you get your project done. The mo truck, the C10 that this come out of, uh -huh. we got to have that done for the SEMA show. So the when you SEMA. have time and get your project done, maybe come back and spend a day with me in the shop, trade a little okay. labor. Hey, uh, I'll shake on that. Okay, if you will. sounds good. <laughs> All right, I like, I love to barter like that because yeah, we're trying to build a real budget type. Uh, we have a small budget to build this truck, so you know you just can't you know, go order a brand new crate motor and transmission. You just you know we yep. just don't have the money for it, so. Yeah. This, this will be absolutely great for that truck. It'll, it'll make that thing move right along. We might clean it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, pressure wash it, throw some new valve <laughs> covers know, on it, new uh, intake. Yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, douche it off pretty good and, you know, uh, but it, it's gonna work great. Cool. Yeah, that's great, appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> go ahead great. and back your truck up. Let's load it in and get you on the road. Well, well we gotta do that because we got a lot to do, so that'll work out great, absolutely. <clears throat> All right, so while TC was on his road trip, going to pick up the motor and all that good stuff, I went ahead and got the front end apart. So when he gets his rear end back, me and him are gonna start mocking things up and seeing where we go from there. All right, girl, what you got here? I'm back. Pick the motor up. Well, I mean, I'm good with figuring out what everything is. Right. But what is this? Well, I don't even, I, can, I don't know what this <laughs> is. That's uh, a brand new, still in the wrapper here, see? It's no a brand way. new. Lower control arm bushing, the main rod for it. Mm -hmm. So we got to get this old stuff out. Put all this new stuff that you got, ball joints. You got new ball joints. All this stuff is wore out. To see where we really at, you have So that's what we're going to do. Get all these old parts taken out, put the new stuff in, and then we got a new front end again. All right? No, thanks. And with your help, though. You are going to help, right? How do you think this got apart in the first place? Right. Well, good. Well, it wasn't well, a ferry. <laughs> we got a lot to do then. That's an extremely large nut there, so, but we'll make this work, all right? Indeed. All right, good deal. We'll make it, and we'll probably need a hammer. All right, big all right. hammer. Big hammer. Thor's okay. hammer. You might want to stand right here on this, because it's going to be. Don't, like, sling that and I won't, me. I won't. You're gonna take me with it, you know. And on that thing. Look at it. All right. All right, Danielle, I'm about to get my side put together. How's it coming over there on yours? I am finishing up over here. I'm just tightening up the dirt fitting. Okay. Well, it looks like all these parts we bought these new parts are uh, fitted together right, and everything is, our drop spindles, everything looks uh, really good now. And, uh, well, what about the brakes things here? They said these drop spindles will take from uh, 70 to 72 Chevrolet GMC rotors and brake calipers, so uh, I guess we we took some apart here the other day. Remember that truck we took apart, mm -hmm. that old GMC? Yeah. And it was a 70, 71. Let's, okay. let's try those and see if they work. Then we, if them. they're good enough, we'll use them. If not, at least we know what we can go buy and make it work. All right? I'll go grab them. You can grab them for me and we'll try them and just see if they work. Well, I've been working for with TC now for three months and it's been great. He knows what he's talking about. I'm learning a lot and he's a hoot. He's entertaining. So it's not boring. It's fun going to work every day. I like it. And she's not the normal girl. Uh, she's been around, you know, the way she was raised with her dad, around racing and um, and going to, you know, salvage yards and, and picking. And um, I mean, how many times do you ever get to work with a 
you know, a good looking girl that knows something about hot rods. That part looks good. Then how about the brake caliper itself? They might know what they were talking about, huh? What maybe think? so, maybe so. <laughs> That looks like it's gonna work. All right, brake caliper. These are the big ones and not the metric ones, so they more stopping power. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. With some new brake pads, we'll be uh, in business? We'll be in business. These are pretty rough. We might have to turn them, or if they're okay, too wore out, we might have to get a new set. But at least we know what we go for now. Okay. All our parts come okay. in. Um, they actually bolted on. We didn't have to get the torch out or grinder. Or, I mean, everything bolted in place, and it looked like it's all right. So and it looks like it's going to work. So you did a good job there. So I guess our next deal is what? Rear end? Rear rear suspension. Let's come down and practice on your day off. <laughs> well, 55, whatever is the time to be. Damn, he's, he's even breathing hard. <laughs> he a lot of it's like he ran the course. He didn't drive the <laughs> I should have used two it. hands is what it was <laughs> instead of smoking.